Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to this last Monday of 2022. 12 months, 365 days. How it went for many of us, I don't even know. But I, what I know is time flew. And I'm sure you guys would have had a fantastic 365 days. We are on the last month of uh, last week, pardon me, uh, of 2022. And it's time for three things. One, obviously, this is a, uh, this is a time of festivity. But please remember what I said in one of my sessions. If you truly, truly want to be successful, I don't want you to be, become a robot. But if you truly want to be successful, successful people work work when others are party and work harder when people are working hard. Please understand and please remember this, ladies and gentlemen. 31st December is a day in the calendar. 1st January is a day in the calendar. 31st March is a day in the calendar. Our businesses are meant for perpetuity. Our businesses are meant for continuity. So while this is a time for festivity, yes, there will be, you should be having the fun and the frolic of the last, uh, of the last week. Two other things that you need. One is to step back and try and understand how did 2022 go? What were the great things that, were, that happened? What were the good things that happened? And what were some of the not so good things that happened? And how do we ensure that those things which were not according to our expectation could be turned better in 2023? And the last thing, what is the plan for 2022? How do we make 2023 the best year of our life? Today, the last Monday of 2022, our last FB life of 2022. I have three questions, ladies and gentlemen. Have you ever wondered why you don't have everything to you? Have you ever wondered why your life is below the standard that you always wanted to make? And have you ever wondered why you have lived or you live a mediocre life? All these questions have one answer. Because the life we are living is a reflection of the choices we make. It is one thing that we need to understand when we are living in a, such a mediocre life. Why are we in that mediocre life? Why are we in that mediocre relationship? Why do we have a mediocre job? Why is our business stuck? Why can't we break out of that mediocre life? It is because we love being in the comfort zone. It is because our priorities of life are different. It is because we like to pay, play it safe. We have been tricked into believing. And I, and I see that happening every single day with multiple business owners, especially two generations, two different generations. We've been tricked. And these business owners, these young business owners are tricked into believing that playing it safe will make them happy and successful. Playing it safe will make them into a success story. Playing them safe or playing it safe will make will help them make enough money enough time and they will not be depressed playing it safe will give them the promotion to an awesome life the life we always dreamt about ladies and gentlemen unfortunately that is not true playing it safe is not going to take you anywhere playing it safe will keep you as a mediocre human being and the choice is yours whether you want to live the life of that 97% of the world's population which live and die a life of mediocrity or you want to be part of the 3% of the world's population you want who live a life of abundance. If you truly believe you're an entrepreneur who is in that 3% category, 
reach out to us because that is our mission that is our mission of upgrading and upskilling the businesses of people who want to live that life of abundance but today don't know how to do it but if you're satisfied with your media of the life that ladies and gentlemen that your choice so today's theme i'll give you seven secrets to make 2023 the best year ever 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 and the first of them and we we've spoken about multiple times set that one breakthrough goal i've said this multiple times i'm going to repeat it today especially after having gone through with many of my planning uh, sessions with my clients recently most businesses and most individuals grossly underestimate the power of getting one clear breakthrough goal clarity breeds focus focus beats success most people and organizations underestimate what they achieve if they can channelize all their energies into one big thing life is full of distraction but the ability to go away from this distraction and focus on that one big thing should create that big shiny image in your mind that will serve as your north star so when you're thinking of that image of or of reaching that destination you should feel all excited and fed up of not being there all the time every fiber in your body should resonate with this image so what is that one breakthrough goal please take a piece of paper this week please write it down that one big breakthrough goal second learn from the best on how to motivate yourself to reach goals you need determination more than anything else most people underestimate the power of resolve and determination the more determined you are the more you will do whatever it takes to reach that destination and how do you motivate yourself how do you build that resolve how do you build that determination most people again and misunderstand that the secrets behind determination and motivation because they focus either on the goal itself or what they can get out of achieving that goal people are motivated by two one by forward movement move, meaning walking towards that goal then or they are motivated by an away from attitude meaning they want to avoid something being painful letting go of your loans letting go uh, going debt free are things that also motivate people the secret however is to motivate yourself using both you cannot you cannot always be motivated by the away from uh, attitude the away from attitude works in a in, within a particular time frame till you achieve that debt free organization so suppose that the debt free organization but ladies and gentlemen by working towards a debt free organization you are not taking the risks that are required the calculated risks that are required to grow your organization exponentially once you i have a taste for both the away from goals away from motivation and the towards motivation you will see your life significantly change i am not suggesting by any stretch of imagination that you should only have the towards goals or the towards motivation because you need to step back and take those calculated risks because there can be downswings in business as well third balance the art of achievement with the art of fulfillment this is not an easy one to master for most because at, the, at on the face of it it seems contradictory how can you lose the taste for what is motivate yourself to reach the breakthrough goal and still be happy honestly i don't see any contradiction between enjoying the ride and still being on your way to the next big thing growth self fulfillment expansion and development are natural parts of nature and it does not certainly mean that you cannot smell the roses as you go towards growth self fulfillment expansion and development smell the roses i can assure you beyond the fundamental level there is no correlation between happiness level and the conventional markers of success so you need to be happy by achieving that success i have seen many people who achieve success but they are unhappy no fun they celebrate every success celebrate every goals that you that you reach reaching goals and achieving objectives this feeling of growth and expansion should put in a smile on your face your team members face and all the people around you. 
life happiness unfold every minute and every moment you can still you can reach that higher ground while still <clears throat> enjoying the moment number 4 again take a piece of paper and write down your ideal future this is still clear and so people who uh, who have been able to access my blog the last friday we i wrote a blog on vision 2023 the the secret weapon of creating a fantastic 2023 is a vision board and if you want to reach uh, uh, read that blog either you can go to the website and read the blog if you're unable to access that let let me know and somebody from my team will send out to you write down your ideal future create as clear a future of your ideal future as possible the picture should be clear picture perfect write it down in as many details as possible as many details as possible because only a clear vision of what you want will will allow you to get what you actually want this is true for all extraordinary high achievers and i recommend this to all my clients the clearer the vision that you have from life in all its aspects the faster you will get there number 5 practice the champion's attitude you are the successful person that i am statement the affirmation statements that we have spoken about in the past i am a successful person not that i want to become a successful person billionaire warren buffett knew from a very early age that he was going to be rich and he never doubted it for a second yes we will have self doubt but our ability to motivate ourselves will allow us to come out of that self doubt what is an idea to build the internal conviction that you will be 100% convinced that you will be you will achieve your goals how do you do that constantly affirm to yourself that this is going to happen no matter what become your best success coach for yourself number 6 very interestingly said by steve uh, jobs ignore the naysayers in his now famous stanford university commencement speech in 20 year uh, 2005 steve jobs had said your time is limited so don't waste it living someone else's life don't be trapped by dogma which is living with the result of other people's thinking don't let the noise of other people's opinions drown out your own inner voice and most importantly have the courage to follow your heart and your intuition don't listen to the naysayers ladies and gentlemen and finally eat the sandwich what what this means is that there is a price in pain things you don't want to do sacrifices along the way you name it the more you're willing to eat that sandwich puts you in front of your goal the faster you will get there so for everything that you do there is a price nothing comes free nothing in this world comes free as we step into 2023 let's promise to ourselves that from now on we will no longer be mediocre let us reaffirm uh, to ourselves that not to life live a life of mediocrity let us give up all that is stopping us from fulfilling our aspiration because if nobody else or if for nobody else we owe it to ourselves we have come onto this planet with a purpose and the only person and believe me ladies and gentlemen the only person who can stop us from achieving that purpose is our mindset to remember we spoke about mindset in the last session in the last episode go back and re- re- revisit that uh, youtube it's on the website it's on my youtube channel it's on facebook we owe it to ourselves nothing nothing ladies and gentlemen should stop us from fulfilling our full potential he is wishing you all to the best year ever thank you very much for being with us through the entire 2022 thank you for trusting us Thank you for making us one of the premier business coaching companies in the country. 
and we reaffirm today that we will only grow from here on and at whatever stage at what on at whatever time we can be any help to any of you we are just a whatsapp or a message away have a great end to this 2022 and i shall see you next monday same place same time with the first monday morning facebook live with business coach maloy till then have a great week have a great year end and wishing you a fantastic 2020